Xi Jinping's political career started in earnest here, in the county of Zhending in Hebei province. This is Rong Mansion Park. It was built in the 1980s as a location for a TV drama. And since then, over 170 films and TV shows have been filmed here. This was just one of many projects initiated by Xi over the three and a half years that would revitalize this sleepy backwater with a much needed injection of creativity and talent. Hebei is our second of five stops as we follow in the president's footsteps from Shanxi to Shanghai and everywhere in between in our search for the making of Xi Jinping. This is Xinhua Special and I'm Helen Bentley. <laughs> she came here in 1982, just after the reform and opening up period. He was 28 years old. Prior to this, he'd cut his teeth as a village party chief in Shanxi and graduated from engineering from Tsinghua University in Beijing. After completing his studies, she worked at central organizations in Beijing. But these desk jobs left him feeling unfulfilled. So he took the unusual step of requesting to be sent back to the countryside. She had always been a lover of the arts and literature. So in 1983, when he heard the producers of A Dream of a Red Mansion were looking for locations, he realized that this production could bring more than just a film crew. It would bring tourists. But here comes the kicker. The whole project was valued at three and a half million yuan, which is a huge amount of money, especially when you take into consideration that the annual revenue for the whole of the county was only 11 million yuan. Added to that, officials argued that the most popular tourist attraction at the time only cost one jiao to get into, and at that rate, it would mean the county would have to spend a hundred years to recoup their costs. But she managed to persuade these officials and, added to investment from local businesses, construction soon began. And the park? It was a huge success, making 17 million yuan in its very first year. The management said making profits was as easy as raking in fallen leaves. She understood how powerful new ideas could be. So, he cast his net wider and he set his sights on attracting outside talent. Wu Baoxin! Wu Baoxin! Wu Baoxin! It seems ridiculous, shouting someone's name in a neighborhood this big and expecting them to answer. But that's exactly what she did 34 years ago on a chilly spring evening. Ding lacks skilled people, so in the spring of 1983, she realised something had to be done. He drafted nine favourable policies and published them in Hebei Daily. The response was better than she could have ever expected, and he soon found himself sifting through over a thousand replies. And one of those replies was from Wu Baoxing, an engineer from Shijiazhuang, the capital of Hebei province. He made body care products in his spare time, and she was so keen to meet him, he decided to go and meet him personally. But it was 7 p.m. at night and an hour's ride to the neighborhood. But despite that, he got on his bike. But by the time he got there, the light was fading, and he had no choice but to start calling out his name. She persuaded Wu to allow Zheng Ding to produce some of his formulas, and that late night pitch really paid off. In the first year alone, the county made 300,000 yuan just from Wu's products. She has spoken favorably of Jiangding on various occasions, praising its culture, history, and especially its hardworking people. The Jiangding years were characterized by creativity, vision, and reform. And these are notions that she has taken with him and developed wherever he goes. See you next time.